welcome to Cracksoid. In this video, I'll be reviewing the latest version of Rise Droid 10.2 that was recently released for the Redmi Note 8. We'll also compare it with the previous version, Rise Droid 10.1. I'll be covering everything from new features and customizations to benchmark scores and overall performance. But before we dive in, I'll also be sharing both the positive and negative aspect of this room. In my previous review, I mentioned some bugs that I encountered, so we'll see if they have been fixed in this new version. And unfortunately, during my testing, I also found a new bug that I'll show you later in this video. So be sure to stick around until the end. So without further ado, let's start. About phone and change logs. Let's start with the basics. When you go to the about phone section, you will notice that Rice Droid 10.2 comes with the latest February 2023 security update, which is always a good sign for those concerned about device security. This ROM is based on the latest version of Android 13 and it comes with the same new kernel as the previous version, but with an updated version number. 4.14.305 which is a positive improvement in terms of performance and stability you can see all of this information right on your screen also you can see the latest change logs on the screen user experience now let's talk about the user experience of rice droid 10.2 one thing you will notice right away is that there are very few pre-installed apps which is a refreshing change for some other rooms that come with a lot of bloatware this means you have more control over what you install and can customize your device to your liking in terms of performance, I have been using Rice Droid 10.2 for a few days now and I haven't experienced any lags or slowdowns while scrolling or swiping on the screen. As you can see on the screen, the app opening and closing speed is quite impressive and responsive. This is likely due to the optimization efforts of the Mu kernel and other system update included in this room. Let's move on to some of the specific changes and updates that are included in this release. Phone dialer. One feature that many users look for in a custom room is auto call recording. And I'm happy to report that Rice Droid 10.2 includes this feature. And another one of the great thing about this room is that there is no call recording announcement that can be heard by the person on the other end of the call which provides an added layers of privacy. This is a feature that not many custom rooms provide. So it's definitely a plus for Rice Droid 10.2. And to do benchmark test. So now let's start with some benchmark test and I'll begin with Antutu benchmark. I had already performed this test and as you can see its score in the screen which is 186480. And if you compare this score with its previous build, then you will notice that this build has shown little better result because in its previous build the Antutu score was only 157114. Geekbench 5 test. After Antutu, I'll show the result of Geekbench 5 result and as you can see the score for single core is 285 and the score for multi core is 1107 and if you compare its score with previous build, the score is quite impressive because in previous build of Rice Droid 10.1, the single core score was 191 and multi core score was 873 only. CPU throttling after Geekbench, I'll show the result of CPU throttling test. Like in my previous video on Rice Droid 10.1, I have performed this CPU throttling test two times back to back for five minutes. And on both tests, it shows same result. CPU has throttled to 95% of its maximum performance and in its previous build, CPU was throttled to 90 and 89% respectively. Safety net status. Checking the safety net status of a custom room is one of the most important things to consider and Rice Droid 10.2 is no exception. I have run the test and as you can see on the screen, it has passed safety net compatibility test, just like its previous version. This is great news as it means that Rice Droid 10.2 is fully compatible with apps that require safety net, such as banking apps and Google Pay. In addition, I have also checked the Play Store app to see if Rice Droid 10.2 is Play Protect certified and as you can see on the screen, it is indeed certified. This is crucial aspect of any custom room as it means that Google has verified that the room is secure and free of harmful softwares. 
Google Photo Storage. Now let's talk about the Google Photo Storage features in this Rise Droid room. You'll be happy to know that this room comes with the unlimited Google Photo Storage feature, which means you can back up all your photos and videos to Google Photos without any worry of running out of storage. This is a great feature for those who love taking lots of photos and videos and don't want to worry about losing them. Camera. Moving on to the camera, the Rise Troy 10.2 ROM uses the same MIUI camera as its previous version, which is a good thing. However, there is one serious bug in this camera app. When you switch to portrait mode, the app crashes. This is unexpected from an otherwise stable ROM. However, there is a workaround for this issue. You can use the Google camera app, specifically version 8.7, which works perfectly fine on this ROM. I tried it myself and all the features inside it worked flawlessly. So if you are into portrait photography, using Gcam would be a better option. Launcher Moving on to the launcher, the Rise Troy 10.2 comes with Sushi Launcher, which is the same as in its previous version. From the recent app section of the launcher, you can access features like Kill Apps, Split Screen, Uninstall and Freeform. Home Settings Moving on to the home setting, you'll notice a few changes from the previous version. However, there are some new quick actions added to the bottom of the recent app section that you can customize according to your preferences in the recent settings. Previously, only screenshots, lens and clear all options were available but now you can also find new features like the kill app and pin option. However, there is still a bug from the previous version that has not been fixed yet. Despite enabling the lens quick action, it may not appear in the recent app section. Nonetheless, this is a minor issue that can be easily overlooked moving on to the miscellaneous settings two new options have been added to this version of rice droid you can now enable haptic feedback on recent scroll and use the restart option which will simply restart the launcher additionally you will also find the use taskbar and hidden and protected apps feature in this room quick settings Let's take a closer look at the quick setting panel in this Rice Droid room. As you can see, the auto brightness toggle is present and enabled by default, which can be convenient for some users. Additionally, there are several new tiles available in the quick settings panel, including scan QR code, weather, FPS info, system boost, and aggressive idle manager. While these new tiles are a welcome addition, it's important to note that the scan QR code tile still does not work in this version, which is a known issue from the previous build. Hopefully, the issues will be addressed in future updates. Settings Now, let's dive into the settings section and see what's new compared to the previous version. Setting Style one of the most appealing aspects of Rise Troy 10.2 is the ability to customize the settings menu. With six different styles to choose from, users can make their device look and feel truly unique. Additionally, the About Phone section can be customized with three new styles, giving users even more control over the appearance of their device. Lock Screen Style one of the impressive features of this Rise Droid 10.2 room is the level of customizability it offers for lock screen style. You can choose from different options such as changing the location of the lock screen clock, its color, and even the font style and size. This level of customization is not commonly found in other custom rooms and can really help you personalize your device. Always on display. Another cool feature of this room is the always on display which allows you to see the time, date and notification on your lock screen without having to wake up your phone. You can also customize the AOD always on display by choosing different ambient text styles and colors to suit your preferences. Screen of animation. In addition to the AOD, you can also customize the screen of animations on this room. There are three different options available for screen of animation, allowing you to choose from different styles and effects when turning off your phone's screen. Overall, these customizations give you a lot of flexibility in personalizing your phone's appearance and functionality to suit your individual needs and preference. Private DNS in the network and internet settings, you'll find an option for private DNS. This feature allows you to specify a custom DNS provider for increased privacy and security. 
this rise to it rom provides a list of custom dns providers to choose from which is a convenient feature battery in the battery settings you will see a battery animation that displays the current battery level in a visually appealing way Additionally, the battery uses statics provide a detailed breakdown of the app uses for the past 24 hours. With the battery saver option, you can enable the extreme battery saver mode which can help to extend the battery life significantly. Security In terms of security, the ROM offers both fingerprint and face unlock feature which works smoothly and provide a convenient and secure way to unlock your device. Moreover, the ROM is encrypted and which adds an extra layer of protection to your data and ensures that your personal information is kept safe. In conclusion, Rise Through 10.2 is a highly customizable ROM that offers a plethora of features and options to its users. From its stylish UI to its advanced customization options, this ROM has a lot to offer for those who enjoy tweaking their phone's interface and settings. However, it's important to note that while Rise Through 10.2 has many unique features, it still has some bugs that need to be fixed. This can sometimes impact the overall user experience, so it's worth keeping in mind. Overall, we highly recommend giving Rise to 10.2 a try. If you are someone who loves to customize their phone to their liking, just be aware of the potential bugs and issues and always make sure to back up your device before installing any custom rooms and you are good to go. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this review helpful. If you find this review helpful, then please like this video, share this video, comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.